What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I got some new Night Vision Optics Ready Stealth Series sights for my Walther PDP. So I'm gonna show you guys how to throw them on real quick. So if you guys like content like this, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I'll link our Instagram down below so you guys can go check that out. With that out of the way, let's jump into it. I've done a few videos on this gun. It's the Walther PDP. This one's a full size with a four inch barrel. It's clear, nothing in there. Um, and I have the hollow sun red dot on it. Now with the factory sights on this and the red dot that sticks up a little higher, you can't co-witness with that red dot on there. Those things are a little too short to co-witness. So, if you've seen any of my other videos, uh, these are some of my favorite sights, the night vision tritium sights. I like sights that uh, glow in the dark in case something happens in the dark. You can see your sights. These ones I special ordered from night vision, went on their site and put in the size that I wanted. It's got the square notch in the rear and then the yellow dot in the front. Um, now these ones that I spec for this one, they are a 330 to 353 blade height. You can select different heights. And the reason I chose that is I took my calipers and measured from the top of the slide to this flat part on the red dot, measured that, and took that measurement and picked the correct sights so I'd be able to co-witness. Now these are lower thirds, so they'll sit a little bit lower so you get as much clarity through that dot as you can when you're using it. And then if you need the irons, they're clear also. So I'm gonna break this down and we'll throw these on real quick. These are a similar install as the Glock sights. I'm not sure if you can see up in here, there's a small screw, just like the Glock sights, to replace that front sight and then we're gonna just use a drift to drift out this rear sight. I do have a sight pusher that I could use for the rear sight, get this all mounted up in there and push it out, but I'm not gonna do that on this one because using that sight pusher, I would have to take the red dot off and I don't wanna go through that hassle and re-zeroing it and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna put it in the vise and use a drift to knock that out. So you will need a front sight tool these aren't expensive. I think I got this one on Amazon. It's a VISM brand. You can go over there, check them out if you want. Um, but you will need a Glock front sight tool because if you try and use just a small socket on there, the walls on the socket are too thick and you won't be able to get up there on the little screw that's in there. So it's pretty simple. Just use your tool, pull the nut out on that front sight post and that'll come right off pull the side off I'll just put this little screw back in there so I don't lose it as new sights come with a little Allen wrench um, and then obviously the sights so this is the rear sight it's blacked out when you're normally looking at it then at night those little tritium vials glow and then the front sight just has that yellow kind of green dot with tritium in the center. Here's this front sight compared to the factory one. You can see it's quite a bit taller. Um, so I'm gonna throw this on really quick. It does come with Loctite already on it. So I'll just pull this little screw out. And then you'll just take it and set it right in the hole on that slide. This front sight tool is magnetized, so you just get your little screw set in here and run it down snug. Make sure you keep some pressure on that, just hold it down tight against the slide while you run your screw in, and then when it gets tight, make sure it's straight, because it can be a little bit off. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it does 
See how it's cocked to the side just a little bit? So I usually just eyeball it. Get it straightened up and then snug it down all the way. So for the rear side, I'm just gonna take a microfiber towel, put it on the slide uh, so it doesn't get scratched up when I put this in the vise, and then use a little, I have a little drift tool and a hammer to drive the old one out and then drive the new one in. So like I said, this isn't hard to do. You just get your drift. We'll just set it down in that dovetail and then grab a, a hammer and just slowly drive this out. Here's the new site compared to the old one that was in it. So you can see it's, it's about twice as tall. So I'll just get this new site kind of lined up in that dovetail. And give it some slow taps. Uh, and then when we get close, we can kind of adjust it either way from center. So when I get close, I'll just eyeball the distance on both sides and get it centered up. Give it, you know, just a few small taps, double check it again, and make sure that thing's right in the center. Now when I was hitting it with the hammer, I was using this kind of rubberized side of the hammer so I didn't mar it up at all. And then when you get it where you want it, you just take your little Allen wrench and there's a set screw in here. Tighten that down so that side doesn't move on you. All right, now we can throw our barrel back in and our guide rod. So now those are installed, we'll put this thing back together. And as you can see, now you can co-witness through that dot with these new sights. Um, they stick up quite a bit further than the sights that were on it. These are made out of steel. They're CNC machined out of steel, so they're very strong. The, uh, the glass in these dots supposedly is made out of similar material as bulletproof glass, so they're extremely strong and it won't break if you bump it or drop them or whatever. But like I've said in the past, these night fishing sites are some of my favorites. Um, they're easy to pick up. They glow extremely bright at night and they're not overly expensive. But that, that is definitely a major improvement in the co-witness department um, compared to the factory sites, which you couldn't see at all. Um, so that's just a quick video, how to install those Optic Height Stealth Series sights from Night Vision. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll check you guys on the next one.